Hello, got another little interesting video here. Um, this is a TDR or Time Domain Reflectometer. It's a little device, sort of, see how big it is. Um, I picked it up off eBay, a bit of a random purchase. Um, wasn't a huge amount of money, so I thought I'd buy it, take it apart, see what's inside, have a play about. Um, when I bought it, I didn't know if it worked or not. Um, it does, actually. Uh, I've had this part and um, had it running already, but I thought I'd tear it down and show you what it's like inside and talk a little bit about it. Um, so it's designed um, for uh, looking at faults in cables. Um, obviously, those in the UK will recognise the, the old BT logo there. So this is uh, designed for doing um, telephone cables, etc. Um, I'd say this probably dates from the mid-90s, but on the inside it looks at earlier design than that even, to be honest, so um, it's pretty old tech. Um, small CRT screen, LCD display, um, and um, a, a very, very crusty old power supply that comes with it, which is, uh, which is obviously the original power supply for charging up because it does actually have it does have uh, internal batteries so you can run it off, uh, off the power supply or the internal batteries um, the batteries are of course completely knackered um, but uh, I might actually swap those out for some new ones anyway so we'll uh, take this apart and see what's inside it's, um, it's obviously been used out in the field quite extensively um, I might actually uh, clean this up and, and put it back together. Um, it's just got some basic controls on the front here, these parts, power selection, quick little legend on what you expect to see on the on the CRT and um, this just displays a number of the kilometres that the cursor is pointing out. I can show you that in a minute when I power it up. Okay, so in here we have uh, a main board with a um, very odd looking transformer on it, um, CRT, display board at the front here, I think the way this works is it generates the, um, it shows the signal on the, uh, the CRT and it just produces a small little cursor point on the CRT which you adjust with this knob here um, and then that just simply reads out a number on here so I don't think there are any way directly related to each other it's just you're just simply measuring a cursor on the screen with um, with this display so There we are, got it out in the end, it was a little bit fiddly. So I'm not going to profess to knowing exactly how this works. Um, I know how theoretically how these things work, but as far as the, the electronics go, it's a bit beyond me I'm afraid. <laughs> and uh, obviously a little, um, little big bodge there. Being conformally coated. Uh, some of the chip numbers are actually hard to read. So we've got the front panel with the uh, display board. On the front, fortunately, this is still attached. 
doesn't seem to unplug. I suspect these are probably as old as the machine. Okay, to uh, to power this, what I've done is um, I've cut the wires that would normally go to the battery packs, um, and just put some connect. So I can just put some connectors on here and run it from my power supply in battery mode. So as you can see, we've got um, the trace on the CRT, and we've got the minimum showing here so the cursor is just operated by this, by this pot here so obviously the minimum that it can measure is um, uh, 0.102 kilometers or 102 meters um, you'd normally connect up uh, your cable onto here so what I've got just down here is a uh, box of cat5 um, originally 305 meters uh, I'm not sure how many is actually left in that they will find out so I've got um, I've got uh, the ends of the cat 5 I'll connect up to here so if I So at the moment, uh, here we've got the uh, the cursor, which moves with the adjustment knob. And then we've got the uh, reflected pulse back. Oh, my screwdriver actually affects that. So if we adjust this up to the starting point of the. Of the reflection we get a measurement of um, 260 which is probably about right because I, I know that I have used some of the cable out of this box so um, so you, you are able to adjust gain and uh, this other button which is uh, labeled RF not Entirely sure what that uh, what that does. So if I change this, this cables over at the other end. The, the two pairs together inverts so that'll be showing a disconnection and then that would show the um, a short circuit I connect these to a second pair. So now that first reflection has gone away, and we've got, uh, and it's moved further along the cable. Turn the gain up a little bit. It's now showing 512. And this here, this little blip, a 
appears as though it's approximately where it was disconnected before on the first run. So this is the actual connection point where I've twisted the two wires together. So I think that's interesting, you can actually see where there are actually connections. Now, um, if you keep going, eventually the screen flicks to obviously further down the line. There's obviously a bit of overlap there. Furthest measurement is 2.72, but the curves has gone off the screen. So the furthest, the furthest you could possibly see is about 2.3. So if I now um, disconnect, this is, this is the short circuit at the end of the at the end of the two lengths. See, it now shows disconnection. So, carrying on from that theme, if I um, take a, a green pair and a, attach this to the the brown pair. Now it's jumped. To seven hundred and sixty ish. Interesting that you can actually see it's not a brilliant connection there, but you can actually see it on the display. So I, uh, I think that probably just about covers everything. The uh, battery state indicator is literally just a, uh, a bar graph. If I lower the voltage, you can see it changing. That's now at 9.9 .9 volts. Obviously you can see the display starting to go there. So what I'll probably do with this, now that I know it, um, it definitely works. is to uh, give it a good clean up because it's, as I said, it is absolutely filthy. Um, clean it up and um, I'll probably just keep it. You never know, it might come in useful somewhere. Okay, um, thanks for watching.